live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNAM TV 5 News at 5. The identity of a baby found at a Detroit area recycling plant remains a mystery, but now investigators are turning their attention to mid-Michigan. Good evening, I'm Sam Merrill. And I'm Carrie Sharp in for Katie tonight. New clues in that baby's death will soon have Roseville detectives searching for more evidence in Midland, Aranac, and Roscommon counties. WNAM TV 5's James Felton report. We need help on this one. Um, very, very little to go on. Police are trying to find out what led to the death of a newborn baby boy. His body was found here at the Re Community Recycling Plant in Roseville, which is near Detroit. The full-term child was packed away inside compacted recycling material last week. Roseville Police Chief James Berlin believes the child came from either Midland, Aranac, or Roscommon counties. We went through the dumpster where the child was found, and there was a large amount of mail and newspapers from that area of the state. Now his detectives are planning to travel north, looking at 34 truck routes that deliver from the counties in question directly to Roseville, all in an effort to find a tip that might solve this mystery. We're going to search the locations where these dumpsters came from, see if there's maybe any video surveillance available, ask anybody around the sites if they may have seen something unusual, anything, what's, anything at all that may help us uh, locate the birth mother. The chief tells me this case is the most disturbing one that he's ever been a part of during his 33 year career in law enforcement. There's 20 year veterans in this department that just they're just shaken to their core. It's just so senseless. This didn't have to happen. The child's cause of death hasn't been released, although authorities believe he died before the recycle bin was picked up. Meanwhile, Berlin wants all expecting parents to know they have options under the state's safe delivery of newborns law. You can take a child to any police, fire, church, medical provider and drop it off. No questions asked. Do not resort to this. Reporting in Macomb County, James Felton, WNEM TV5. Anyone with information about this case is asked to call Roseville Police. The number is on your screen, 586-447-4483. And remember, you can count on WNEM TV5 for continuing coverage as this story develops. Live look right now at Saginaw where the skies are still cloudy, but the snow has at least stopped falling. Chief Meteorologist Doug Moach joins us from the First Born 5 Weather Center. Doug, is that snow going to return tonight? Well, not tonight, but there is a chance for some snow back in the forecast before we reach the end of the week. Actually, as early as tomorrow, let's take a look at the First Born 5 pinpoint Doppler radar just to confirm that snow has in fact moved out. No snow in the immediate area. Now that snow that fell Last night and into today was certainly more than expected in several areas. We did have accumulation Saginaw over an inch of snow right there. The southeast portion of Flint over two inches. Southern portions of Frankenmuth got one inch of snow and we are again going to see a little bit more in the way of light snow on Wednesday, moving off of another clipper system that will hit the area over the course of the day. Here's a look at the evening forecast. Winds will be out of the northeast at about five to 10 miles per hour. We'll stay mainly cloudy and temperatures will stay steady through the evening and even into the overnight hours, but we'll settle again into the teens and 20s for lows. There is a warm up on the way for the end of the week. It's not going to last for the entire weekend. I'll explain and break that down for you with your first one five seven day forecast. That's in 10 minutes. Doug, thank you, and it seems today's light snowfall caused some big problems on the roads. We had several reports of crashes all throughout the morning. Yeah, from slipping and sliding to a crash with a semi, TV5's Ben Bowman has a look at today's traffic trouble. Yeah, I actually just slid into the driveway uh, to the gas station pulling in, but uh, that's Michigan weather. That's the winner for you. Tegan Brethauer says he had some difficulty navigating through mid-Michigan as Mother Nature laid a full one inch of snow on roads earlier this morning. The roads are really bad. Even back streets are horrible. Main streets are worse. A little earlier along Dixie Highway and Maple Road, an 18 wheeler and a Chevy SUV collided. The accident left both vehicles in a ditch and sent the driver of the Chevy to the hospital with minor injuries. And if you take it easy, they're not too bad. David Woodward says slow and steady seems to work better than some of the other alternatives. You can lose it if you get stupid. With all the snow and ice outside, Michigan drivers' best bet is just to slow down. I'm driving almost 10 miles slower than what the speed limit is. Uh, I'm driving slower, not slower. Dexter Pruitt says government officials should have been more prepared for the snow. Should have got up and did an early job. Didn't know the snow was coming. In Saginaw, Ben Bowman, WNEM, TV5. And if you thought your morning commute was bad, take a look at this. This uh, overpass collapsed on I-75 last night in Cincinnati, killing a construction worker and injuring a truck driver. Southbound 75 still closed in that area as the cleanup continues. 
Police said the collapse was related to construction. So how would local rescuers respond if something like that happened here? We asked the experts tonight at 530. A neighborhood crime alert. Police are searching for a man found rifling through someone's home. Take a look. Burton police say this man kicked open the front door of a home on Genesee Road yesterday afternoon. He left when the homeowners returned and after being confronted by the homeowners, a 16 year old daughter. The suspect is described as a white man between 30 and 40 years old. He has a short beard and was wearing a baseball cap and a hooded sweatshirt. And police need your help identifying this man. He's suspected of using a stolen credit card at several stores in the Bay City area. If you have information, call the Bay City Department of Public Safety. Or you can call Crime Stoppers. The number is on your screen, 1-800-422-JAIL. Tonight, Governor Snyder plans to push voters to boost road funding as part of his State of the State address. The governor says Michigan has taken a Band-Aid approach to roads for years, so he wants voters to approve an increase in the sales tax that would raise $1.3 billion a year. The governor's speech begins tonight at 7. You can see it on My5 or streaming live at WNEM.com. Later tonight, President Obama will lay out his vision for the upcoming year. The president will deliver his State of the Union address to a joint session of Congress now controlled by the GOP. Craig Boswell reports. President Obama is putting the finishing touches on his sixth State of the Union address. Standing before the new Republican majority, he's expected to focus on lifting up the middle class. He'll put down his ideas to make sure that uh, paychecks go a little farther, to make sure that people uh, have the training and education they need for new uh, jobs of the future. President Obama used speeches earlier this month to preview his proposals. He'll need billions to pay for them and is calling on Congress to increase taxes on the wealthy. The idea is falling flat with Republicans in control of both the House and Senate. The GOP leadership has little interest in spending money on the president's ideas. It, it all looks like the same old tax and spend that the president's been advocating for the last six years. Uh, hopefully that's just rhetoric. He knows we're not likely to pass these kinds of measures. In just the last few weeks, Congress and the president have already clashed over bills to approve the Keystone XL pipeline, change his health care law, and roll back Wall Street reforms. I hope tonight's speech is light on the veto threats and heavy on the areas where we can find common agreement. Common ground may be found in new trade proposals and in fixing America's crumbling roads and bridges. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill. After the president's speech, newly elected Senator Joni Ernst from Iowa will deliver the GOP response and Florida Republican Kirk Clausen will deliver the Tea Party rebuttal. You can watch the president's entire State of the Union address tonight at 9 right here on WNEM TV 5. Some local parents are upset saying their kids aren't welcomed at school. They say it all has to do with opting out of standardized testing. We'll hear from both sides and ask the tough questions. That's tonight at 6. And the Pope ruffling some feathers again ahead of his visit to the U.S. Find out what he had to say about contraception and same-sex marriage. That's tonight at 5.30. But first, raids on suspected terrorists continue overseas. We will tell you what plot police say they stopped. So you want to run a city, be in charge of city hall like this one behind me. Be called your honor. Well, find out how you can do that in one mid-Michigan community.